Hey guys, happy hashtag Wellness Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday, one of those, whatever you want today to be. So what I wanted to go over with you guys today was some things that you, and, and again, I, I watch what people have all the time. Hey Chip, hey Ruth. And I, I want to share some suggestions um, and maybe some other ways to use Facebook in a more connectable way. Now, these are just suggestions um, of what you can do to obviously connect with people better. And there are definitely some things that, that turn people away because the idea of social media is to draw people into what you're doing. The, the point of social media is to connect yourself to a network and the right people. And what do people see first? They see your profile. So if you're jumping on the replay, always use hashtag replay. If you're coming on live, please say hi and where you're coming in from. And just so I know that people can hear me loud and clear, you can give me some thumbs, some hearts, some wow faces. And I'm going to explain why in detail, why there are some of these things that you should and should not have on there. Hey, Dana. Hi, Jackie. Good to see people popping on. And as always, please share this video with your team on a private page or on your personal timeline, or if you feel there are specific people that should hear and see this, tag them in the comments below and use the hashtag I tagged or I shared, and I will give you a free gift later for doing so. Now, so let's talk about some of the things that you should have in your headline on your profile. So everyone on their Facebook profile, if anyone sees mine, it says, you know, number one best selling author, speaker, trainer, coach, whatever it is. So there's some things that you can put on there that are going to draw people into you because Kareem, what's up, brother? Um, the, the thing is you want to attract people to what you're doing. You don't want to seem salesy or pitchy or Anything where you're going to give someone a bad taste in their mouth before they even get on the phone with you or whether they see your profile. So something that I like, and, and this is can be a, a grand title, something that I like is wellness, business, and motivation advocate. Now, you can do what you want with that. You can just have wellness advocate. You can have business uh, strategy, strategist. You can motivational uh, motivation advocate, inspiration advocate. Now, what something like this says is what you're about. You're about wellness, you're about motivation, you're about business. And what that's going to do, it's going to really raise curiosity and it's also going to humanize yourself. And the reason is you have to understand. So what I want you guys to think about, imagine for a second that well, type a number one in the chat box if you're a network marketer, either part-time, full-time, some of the time, a little bit of the time, just so I know who I'm speaking to. And again, if you're coming on as Kareem has done, uh, say hi where you're coming in from, give me some hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces, just so I know I'm coming through loud and clear. And please share and tag people that you feel need to hear this. Demkowitz, good to see you, brother. So here's, here's the deal. The, the fact is, is that something like this, an advocate, that is something that you stand for, that you believe in, but you have to think about this. Pretend for a second that you are not a network marketer and you're on Facebook and you're looking at someone's profile. You have to imagine, and that's how I want you guys to look at your profile. So after you're done today, look at your profile and how would you receive it? How would you be attracted or not attracted to it depending upon what post that person is seeing and how and what kind of title you have on there? Another thing that you can have is something called connection specialist. Now, 
What does that mean? You know, someone that believes in connection. You know, connection advocate, connection seeker. Because that's why you're doing network marketing. You're not doing it to sell people. You're doing it to connect with people. So if this is all making sense or giving you a little bit of an, a better idea of, and these are just examples. You can, you can do what you want with this. I'm just trying to give you examples. If this makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, if you're on here, say hi and where you're coming in from, please share this in any private network marketing groups that you're in, your personal page, tag some people that you feel need to he hear this because I look at everyone's profile to see what they have. And I'm not saying that one is better than the other, but you have to think about it from the perspective of the non-network marketer. How would they respond to it? How would they feel about the content that you're putting out there and what you have written? Now, outside of connection specialist, something very basic, something very simple, something like this, hope mentor. You give people hope. You're mentoring people on hope, belief in themselves, in achieving, you're, you, you, know, you teach people how to achieve their goals. You know, you're a goal teacher, you're a goal mentor, you're a goal advocate. These are some words and phrases that really inspire people. So these are some great things for you to have on there. Hi, Clara. Mandy, good to see you jumping on. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kim. Okay, good. So I'm just making sure this makes sense. So just as an idea, so here are some ideas. Wellness advocate, business advocate, motivation advocate, connection specialist, hope mentor, you know, goal mentor. Those are some things that you should list on your Facebook profile in the about section. Now, you may be asking yourselves, what shouldn't I have on there? Residual income expert. Now, why I have a problem with this is that there are a lot of people that have residual income expert on their profile but yet they truly don't know how to create residual income or they're not an expert. Now, I don't feel anything makes anyone an expert or a guru or anything of that. When someone sees residual income expert, that screams network marketing. That screams multi-level marketing. That screams direct sales. That screams affiliate marketing. When you have residual income expert, th there is a place for something like this. More of a business platform, Joey Lonzo. This is not for Facebook, residual income expert. I want you guys to think about this. You're branding yourselves and what you believe in. Joey, thank you for the love. Love you, brother. So if you have something like residual income expert on there, replace it with something more humanizing. You always want to look eye level with your network. So think anything that you have written on your profile, think about it from the perspective of the non-network marketer. If you weren't a network marketer and you saw someone that had written residual income expert, you would know they were a network marketer right away and you know what, they're going to try to sell me. Because think about this, what a lot of uplines are teaching, become friends with people on Facebook that you went to high school with, that you knew, that you went to college with, and then reach out to them and try to pitch them on the products. So it's almost like people are using other people. So why are you friending these people? Are you friending these people because you really want to friend them? Or is the intention to friend that person to eventually want to pitch them on your product? You're not on here to sell. You're on here to have real connection and relationship and if it does lead to something, then great. So, no, no, residual income expert. Here's another one. Financial freedom expert. So here's why I have an issue with this. So if this is all making sense so far, type Y or yes in the chat box. If you're just coming on, please say hi and where you're coming in from. If you do share this and use the hashtag I shared or tag three teammates and use the hashtag I tagged, I will send you a free download later from me for free for saying thank you for doing so and bringing people 
onto this live. So if this is making sense so far, why or yes in the chat box, Kareem, yes. Anne-Marie, good to see you. Danny, good to see you on here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Just making sure that everyone is with me. So financial freedom expert. What makes someone an expert? And what is financial freedom? So here's the deal. Financial freedom means something different to each person. But again, what you guys need to understand and realize is that people are on Facebook. They're not on here for jobs. They're not here on here for opportunities. They're not on here for business. This is a social platform. It's just network marketers are being taught how to use it as a business platform. This is a brand platform. This is an awareness and social platform. But go, going on your profile and having financial freedom expert, again, that screams network marketing. That screams multi-level marketing. It screams direct sales and affiliate marketing. It's not branding you. You want people to be attracted to you, your mission, and your values. That's what you want. And then finally, the one that really, that really gets me. It makes sense, but can we use these on LinkedIn? So on LinkedIn, you should be using something along the lines of success mentor, uh, prosperity advocate, um, a global wellness coach, lifestyle mentor, lifestyle advocate. So, you know, financial freedom, you, you want to stay away from the residual income and the financial freedom type stuff. It's being so overused just like the word influencer and entrepreneur. So if that makes sense, Kim, just type a Y or yes in the chat box. Um, are you free? Yeah, it's, it's exactly, are you free? So here's the other thing. This is, this is the one that I have the most issue with because it just sounds just so inauthentic. So, um, have a lot to learn. Yes, you're so welcome, and re listen, we all have something to learn. We all do. Now, so this is what I see some people have on their profile. I teach how to make full-time money part-time. I teach how to I teach how to make full-time money part-time. Kim says, most people who send me connections now are network marketers. It annoys me that there is nothing but a sell each time without even a conversation. They want me to like their pages. Absolutely. Kim, you hit the nail right on the head. I, lo I'm, I love that comment. I'm going to love it right now live. So I teach how to make, I teach people how to make full-time money part-time. That, my friends, is bullshit. I'm just calling that bullshit because any top leader in network marketing that is making full-time money is not putting in part-time hours. They're probably putting in more hours than the normal person. To create that kind of income, six and seven figures, and Nancy can attest to this even though we're on the more of entrepreneurial route, I start my calls at 10 o'clock in the morning and my final call tonight is at 8.30. So I'm putting in about 10 hours. Now I have breaks in between the day, but for someone to say, I teach how to make full-time money part-time, that is probably one of the most bullshit statements that I've seen in network marketing. And it should be nowhere near your profile. Nowhere. The, the residual income expert, financial freedom expert. I teach how I teach people how to make full-time money part-time. It's inauthentic, it's disingenuine, and you're selling a bad bill of goods. Even though you may have done it, you're giving people false hope. Because that there is no place for that. There is no place for that on Facebook. And again, people are missing the point. All of these things are making it seem like network marketing is easy. Oh, it's simple. Oh, you, you, you just friend a bunch of people, you, you get them on the products, they're gonna wanna do the business, and then you can build some residual income that way. 
No, network marketing is a very, very profitable opportunity if you work it the right way, if you put in the sweat at, at equity, if, if you do what is required. It is not easy. It is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And for someone to I teach people how to make full-time income part-time. I'm sorry, there's just something so intentionally wrong with that because it's almost like teaching someone how to go to the local mini mart and get some scratch offs for the lottery and scratch and win. Like it, it, if that leader or the leaders want to be honest, yes. You can make full-time income in part-time hours eventually. But in order to create that full-time income, it's going to require more time than you would normally spend at a nine-to-five job. If that statement makes sense, give me some hearts. I, I, I want you guys to, to sink into that. The real way that it should be said is that you can absolutely make full-time income, part-time, eventually, but it requires you in order to create that full-time income to put in more time than a regular nine-to-five in the beginning. That is a true statement. And Joe Alonzo can back me up on that. Jamie France can back me up on that. I know Kim can back me up on that. When you are working this business, you are working this business hard. And it just I, I just feel that a lot of people are disconnected and disjointed with network marketing because of statements like this. I teach people how to make full-time money part-time. I'm a residual income expert. I'm a financial freedom expert. Like, I'm sorry, guys. It just seems scammy to me. I would, I have never, ever had anything like that on my, any of my pages. Because I, I would want to teach someone how to build residual income the right way because it's a marathon, not a sprint. And for someone to say they're calling themselves a residual income expert, a financial freedom expert, you know what? No, I'm a wellness advocate. I'm a business advocate. I'm a motivational advocate. You know, you know what I specialize in? I specialize in connection and I give people hope and belief. That is what people should be putting. I work full time and network marketing. I feel I have two full time jobs. Exactly, Kareem. I appreciate your honesty there. Kim says, scares me though, as I am doing this to create time for my family. And Kim says, fear that I am then missing out on doing something wrong because it's not working like my upline says. And again, Kim, you have to be your own upline. Your upline can tell you exactly what they're doing up and down to get, until you're blue in the face, but you are the one that has to put the work in. But what I'm telling you guys right now is that the more time that you put into this on the right platforms, talking to the right people, that is how you can create the income that you're truly looking to create. It's the truth. Most people right now are posting and waiting for people to reach out. That's not going to give you the numbers. That's not going to make you a residual income expert or a financial freedom expert. But again, this whole notion of I teach people how to make full-time money part-time, any of the top leaders that you see that you know in network marketing or entrepreneurship, you'll never see any of that near their profiles. They don't want to give people false hope. You don't, oh yeah, what do you specialize in? Well, I teach people how to make full-time money part-time. You want to learn how to do that? That is just, that is one of the most disjointed messages you can give another human being. It's the truth. Focus on the real reasons why you're doing this, to give people hope, to give people belief, to, to connect with other human beings, to be an advocate for living a healthier and wealthier lifestyle. You know, the whole notion of residual income and financial freedom and, and full-time income part-time, I'm sorry, it's overused and overplayed. Just like the word influencer and entrepreneur, just be yourself. You have to remember, 
when you're designing your profile on, on Facebook, Go look at it after we're done here. And if you're not a network marketer, how would that person view your profile? Oh man, they're just gonna try to sell me something. You're not looking to sell anyone anything. You are looking to connect with people and form relationships and rapport and connection. That's what network marketing is all about. Everyone is, is getting so obsessed with having the prettiest pictures and posts and this that you're missing the most important aspect of network marketing connecting with other amazing human beings so guys remember you don't want to have residual income expert you don't want to teach people how to make full-time money part-time because that's giving them it's it's not realistic for everyone it's such a small per, and you guys know this it's such a small percentage of people that make that kind of money Kim says, planting seeds. I had an amazing conversation yesterday with a LinkedIn connection right now. Not a business partner, but the door is open for the future. Absolutely. And you're not, and, and you know, financial freedom expert. Guys, listen, this is about life. This is about connecting with people in real life because you want to help people. You're, you don't want to just get people and enroll them. You're not, friend, there's got to be a purpose and a passion behind what you do. So, my suggestion to each and every one of you is after this live, whether you're on your live or on the replay, you go onto your profile on Facebook and look at it from the perspective of a non-network marketer. How would you feel if you were not a network marketer looking at that page? Is it salesy? Is it false hopey? Is it genuine? Is it authentic? Is it you? Or do you have certain things written on there because you were told that you should have them written on there? Remember, you say yes to network marketing, to not have a boss, to not have a second job, and to be you and to be your own true leader that you've always been born to be. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's content. Love you all so much, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.